Welcome to day 11 of my 50 day challenge doing VCV rec experiments. I'm Ablad and yesterday actually I made this patch um, for a drone and I put out a track on uh, SoundCloud and called it LRG for an abandoned planet. Let's have a look at the patch. As you can hear there is some white noise that I'm using this time and a low drone and then there's something more going on now and then Okay, uh, soloing the white noise uh, coming from this uh, bog audio module, very small, very nice, that I filter here in a volts tangents filter and the cutoff is modulated by this seriously slow LFO. which counts its duration in minutes. And you could even set it to hours, days, weeks, or months, if you would want to go extreme. And there is another module from Frozen Wasteland, which is even more extreme, I can show you. Uh, where is it? This one, the CTC signature, seriously slow LFO, which counts its duration in time, in terms of years, centuries, or even more. It's so slow, you wouldn't even notice it. It's fun that this exists, of course, and who knows, there may be a use for it someday. Not in this patch though, six minutes, is plenty to uh, have a cycle and uh, you can hear the, the cutoff going lower into the uh, it's pink noise actually that I'm using I said white noise before didn't I uh, pink noise yeah I should use white noise next time just for a change anyway um, the output goes straight into this uh, mono mixer from CF uh, what else is happening? There is this second mono channel getting its output from here that comes out of the tidal modulator. But that is just for the gain, for the envelope. The sound actually comes out of Crackle from Hetrick, which is filtered again by tangents. Although this time cutoff is not modulated. And you get these short bursts of crackly noise. I think for the recording I actually turned the chaos up quite a bit. Um, I think I even switched this to classic. I guess I didn't save the patch uh, in the final stage. Anyway, so you get these waves sometimes of this crackly noise and the pan is also modulated by this LFO with an offset so it doesn't go open all the way or it doesn't pan all the way to the left or the right, but just partly. And you see this pan slowly moving here. All right, what else do we have? In the meantime, you hear nothing from that pink noise from the original channel here because it's at that stage in the LFO where it is quiet. Uh, 
uh, here the gain actually also comes from the seriously slow airflow, the triangle wave. Um, again, put through a attenuator so it doesn't go up all the way to 100%. Uh, what's going on with this stereo channel? That should be our drum. Well, I'm not hearing anything. Ah, because these are so loud. There we go. So yeah, a lovely deep drone coming out of uh, Sonos Department's Ladrone. And I tuned relatively low and then filtered through this battery of volt filters. Um, first of all, this Unstabile bent state variable filter with a cutoff, some resonance, quite a bit of drive. So this is low pass filtered and then goes into some wave destruction debriatus. So I'm folding uh, the, the, the sound waves a bit. Again, add some saturation and distortion so you get a bit of a crunch in the sound. And then I uh, cut off the high end and I low pass filter it again through some tangents here. If I turn this up, you hear that crunch in the drone. But we want to keep it quite. Uh, Basing, as we have the uh, uh, the occasional high crackle, and there is another voice here. What's going on here? As you can see, this channel does not go straight into the mix because I want to do two things with the game. So I have an LFO on this coming out of Tidal Modulator and then a slow LFO here on the general gain. So it first goes through this, the envelope is modulated and then there is the overall gain and that comes out of this dual attenuator and again from this LFO. Okay, let's unsolo this so that we get the whole thing. Ah, now you hear it. Somewhere in the distance there is this organy sound. And it there is a slow LFO. Ah letting it come and letting it go. Uh, this organy sound is coming from Blumsoft's X of X Wave, which they were kind enough to uh, give me for free, so I can show it to you. Um, it is uh, this Wave VCO I'm using here, uh, this one, I need to clear this. Uh, the PD, uh, phase distortion. I, I'm using the soul pulse wave with a little bit of FM dialed in as well and a little bit of extra harmonics. And you get a beautiful kind of electronic organy sound. Um, this then goes into XFX filter it has 35 filter modes. If you go through these, you see there's a lot of possibilities. 
that you can select and I've gone just for a simple low pass with a little bit of drive, a little bit of resonance and I'm cutting off some of the very high frequencies. Okay, let's uh, unsolo all of this. And then you hear this lovely reverb. Again from Blumsoft, XFX reverb. It's just a lovely reverb uh, with a big hole kind of feel to it. And here I get so everything mixed together, everything goes through the delay and then the delay is mixed into the final channel before it goes to the master. So that's my patch. Some pink noise, some crackle, a drone, and then this soul pulse wave melody that comes and goes and everything goes through a lovely reverb. Oh, I didn't mention the Turing machine. The Turing machine uh, is what generates the melody. Uh, it is triggered by the Bernoulli gate, which comes from the BPM clock here. So it is uh, also really slow. And this triggers the, um, the crackle envelope. And uh, much faster through the Bernoulli gate uh, with some probability again, so we don't get a constant stream of notes, but a little bit of variation from the Turing machine, which is then quantized by my favorite Scala quantizer, which this time um, is set in the Raga by Ravi mode and that uh, goes into the full prerogative of our VCO. I think I've mentioned everything now. That's my patch for today. Um, I will be uploading my patches uh, for you to try out as well. And I'll link when I actually do that so you can find it. Also check out our uh, Facebook user group, vis -vis Rec user group, where I post my videos and patches. Hope to see you again for my next experiment. Please like and subscribe and all that jazz. See you next time.